हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो यू विल सी पैटर्न मेकिंग कटिंग एंड स्टिचिंग ऑफ खुलाथ खुलाथ इज अ फ्रेंच वर्ड व्हिच मींस शॉर्ट पैंट्स इट कैन बी फ्लैरी एट द बॉटम और प्लीटेड In this video you will see pattern making of fitted collars with side pockets and fly zip. To make a pattern of collars the first measurement we require that is full length of collars. You can take this measurement from waistline to knee or just below the knee. The second measurement which we require to make a pattern of culotte is hip length that has to be taken from waistline to hip line. This measurement should be taken while sitting. The third measurement which we need to take that is crotch length that has to be taken from waistline to crotch level. Waist circumference. This measurement has to be taken around the waist hip circumference this measurement has to be taken encircling the hip level at hip line belt height this measurement can be taken according to your choice or according to the design now let's start making the pattern Follow all the instructions. Leave one inch of margin at all the edges, and around six inches of margin at the right side, as shown. First, we will make the front pattern. Mark zero to one as hip length. Now mark zero to two as crotch length. Now mark zero to three as one fourth of waist round plus two centimeter as dart intake. and 1 cm as ease mark point 3 to 3 dash 1 cm straight up from point 3 square out from point 1 and on this line mark 1/4 of hip circumference plus 1 cm as ease Mark that point as four, and then square out from point three, and mark that point five, so that three to five equals to two to four. Divide hip down by twenty. And add zero point five centimeter for two to six. Mark one to seven zero point five centimeter. Join zero to seven with slight curve and continue till point six. Take midpoint of five to six and mark it point eight. Square 
start off from this point till waistline and mark point 9. Mark 9 to 10 as full length. Mark 9 to 9 dash as dark length. Mark both the sides of point 9 as 1 cm for dart intake. Front part is ready now. Now we'll start making back part. To make the back part, take the midpoint of 0 to 9 and mark point 17. Move up from point 17 2 cm and mark this point as 18. To mark 2 to 19, divide hip round by 24 and minus 0.5 cm at the left side of point 2, mark point 19. Join 18 to 19 with straight line and where this line intersect at the hip level, mark point 20. Mark 18 to 22 as one fourth of waist round plus 3 cm for dart intake and 1 cm for ease. Spur up from 22 1 cm and mark 23. Mark 22 to 24 as one fourth of waist round plus 1 cm of ease. 4 to 24 equals to 11 to 25. Then join 24 to 25 with straight line. 8 to 21 equals to 10 to 26. Join 21 to 26 with straight line. Take midpoint of 18 to 23 and mark point 27. 
draw a dot 27 to 28 11 cm for kids and 14 cm for adults perpendicular to the line 18 to 23 27 to 39 and 27 to 30 mark 1.5 cm so that in total dart intake will be 3 cm for the back draw both the dart legs by joining 29 to 28 and 30 to 28 Mark all the pattern information like green line and cut. Both for the front and back, cut two. Front and back of pull-ups are ready.